Hi, I'm Andrew Hamilton, one of the leaders of the trip to the Galapagos Islands that's coming up from May 19th to June 17th. Take a look at what we've got in store for you. This year we'll be taking about 20 students to work with researchers at the Galapagos Science Center on San Cristobal Island. And we're looking for four or five more students who want to go and have the adventure of a lifetime. Because of its history, geology, ecology, and climate, the Galapagos Archipelago and World Heritage Site is one of the most biologically unusual and important places in the world. And it's the only place where you can see marine iguanas like this one. It's also the only place where you can see Galapagos tortoises, flightless cormorants, Galapagos penguins, lava lizards, Galapagos fur seals. You get the idea. There's plenty of amazing life to see in the islands. And that's just the animals. They're also plants. It's also, of course, a great place to see blue-footed boobies and magnificent frigate birds, as well as the waved albatross, which only breeds in the Galapagos Island, though it can be found in other places. The plan for our 2016 trip is that after a brief stay in Quito on the Ecuadorian mainland, we'll divide into four or five groups of students that rotate through several projects and we'll spend roughly two weeks on each one. Of course, we'll still get a look at the area surrounding Quito and stand on the equator and get to experience some mainland South American culture. But while we're at the Galapagos Research Center, examples of the work that you'll be doing include linking landscape ecology, population dynamics, and crowdfunding to study the critically endangered Galapagos petrel. We'll evaluate the reproductive success of sea lions at beaches with different degrees of human intervention. We'll take a close look at water quality on San Cristobal Island from the field to the lab. We'll also study the marine ecology of the endangered green turtle. You might want to consider getting scuba certified before we go. Many of the images in this video were shot by students on last year's trips. We'll also examine the effects of climate change on subtital communities. And finally, we'll use sophisticated laser equipment to map the caldera on Wolf Island. We're offering a course in the final session of the spring term, that's session six, and it'll help you prepare to contribute meaningfully to this great work. It runs from April 5th to May 9th, and you can take it with a variety of prefixes based on your needs and your degree plan. So if you want to spend part of your summer on an amazing once-in-a-lifetime adventure in a truly unique place, get a hold of me. Send an email to ahamilton at uh.edu or get in touch with Dr. Frank Hino at the link below or just fill out the application, also linked below. I hope you like what you've seen and I hope you want to go.